What up, y'all? This is Major One. Right now, we are doing this interview at Choice Cuts here in Singapore, an ill, ill record store. Jams happen here, DJs play here, music community gets together here. Come, follow me, follow me. Let me show you this. Follow me, follow me. You got funk LPs, you got boogie funk LPs, you got jazz LPs, you got Asian rare grooves, you got Latin, you got Jamaican LP. What you say? What you say? What do we have here? All right, all right. Johnny Clark, Essential. Mr. Vegas, not bad, but some baby mama drama. Um, Alba Rosi, of course, Alba Rosi, big up every time. Yo, I want to meet Alba Rosi. Holler, boy. Let's see. Rasta Communication and Dub, big. Keith Hudson. Yo, Nati Lux, Dub. Nati Lux, Dub. All right, so Brazilian LPs, Afrobeat. You got it all right here. You got to support your music scene. You got to support your local record store. Big up each and every time. Choice cuts in Singapore. Well, let's get into this from Distract TV. All right, check it out. So to kick it off, who is Major One in three words only? Can I kick it? All right. Three words, Major One is international Merdeka vibes. International because I grew up all around the world. Merdeka is the Indonesian word for freedom and independence. And vibes because in life, you just got a whole vibe. Merdeka atau mati. Yazimi. All right, next question. <laughs> Your sound can be described as a cross between tropical house and dance hall. How has being from Singapore influenced your music? All right, let's break this down. The dissertation of your question. Tropical house, I've never heard my music described as tropical house before, but I do want to address the issue of tropical house, tropical pop. We talking black music, man. Dance hall music, hip hop music. So we got to call it what it is. We got to say that we are influenced by the black and Latino diaspora. And that has been an inspiration for my music for a long time. Because at the end of the day, it was the music of voices that aren't heard. And these are people that stepped into their creativity, stepped into their individualism, and became somebody when they became creative. So that's what inspires me about hip hop and dance hall music. So a lot of times, my music is described as a mix between hip hop, dance hall, and reggae. And it comes from growing up all around the world. Uh, discovering hip hop when I was a kid in Singapore, which is an unlikely thing. Growing up in Canada and, and building off the b-boy, b-girl scene there. Uh, moving to Toronto and being a part of that hip hop scene. Working in LA and New York and songwriting with some of my heroes in life like Pharrell, RZA, uh, Che Vicious, Big Up, Trust Juan Cartier, Big Up. Um, and then moving to Jamaica and experiencing the culture and the toasting and the music and vibes of Jamaica. So I would say that I am a product of all those things and now I've moved to Singapore to express what I've learned around the world and to reconnect with my own roots and culture. And it's an exciting time for Southeast Asia as we bring our own languages and our own culture to that vibe. Question three. Who did you grow up listening to and what are you listening to right now? I grew up, the first record I ever picked up was by Public Enemy. I found a bootleg cassette tape at a wet market when I was seven years old. And when I put it in there, I was like, what is this? It's like, I didn't understand the political intonations of the music, but I just knew whatever they say, were saying it was very urgent, was very important. And uh, at the time, my cousins were all listening to like t Taiwanese pop music, J-pop. And so it was definitely a very different sound, and that's what interested me in everything. My brother listened to a lot of Peter Tosh, Toots and the Maytals of Car Cars Bob. Um, and that also was very interesting to me. So I think from a really young age, I was really attracted to rebel music. Um, what am I listening to right now? Uh, Kendrick, of course, Kendrick. Who doesn't like Kendrick? Kendrick, uh, I like Tiara Wack. I love that she is very much her own artist and who she is. Um, who else? Pagey Cakes. I love Rhyme MCs. I love what the female MCs are doing out of the UK. I think it's really dope. And in Southeast Asia, I'm just loving like just the sounds, you know, for everything from Gamilan to Dangdut to listening to some old like 70s uh, Chinese music that sampled from. Uh, out of China, an artist named Cha Cha is amazing. So much. Oh my God. Uh, I, I'm, I always take it back to the classics. We got Blowout Comb, which is one of my all time favorite hip hop albums. The Roots, Do You Want More? I shall proceed and continue to rock the mic. Music is all around us. Gotta love it. All right, next.
<laughs> uh, you've toured and performed in over 20 countries in headline festivals like Burning Man, big up to my burners, and Ultra Music Japan, where's your most favorite place to perform? Jamaica, obvi, hashtag obvi, Jamaica is the place to be, yo. Um, I would say that there's a lot of festivals that you can perform and definitely the, it's exciting to be a part of it and it's exciting to be on stage. But in Jamaica, if you suck, someone gonna throw a buckle at you and be like, yo, get off the ass clap stage. And right away you know, like, okay, I'm no good. And that honesty is amazing. Um, and if you're doing a good job, people like gonna be spraying with their Bagon spray, you know, like fire. And as an artist, you're standing on the stage and you have a mic in your hand and you watch fire lights up across the crowd. And as an artist, there's nothing like more special and deeper to touch your heart. So definitely jam rock each and every time. Yo, big up Cockburn Pen, Kingston, Westmoreland, Negril, Orange Hill. Big up all my people in Yai. Boy, boy. All right, calm down, Major. Next up, if you could work with any other producer or rapper, singer on a record, who would it be and why? I'd say Damian Marley um, because he is the son of a living legend. I love uh, the creativity he brings to a track. You heard the record he did with Nas. It sounds great with hip hop. He has a good, you know, like collaboration, co co collaborative sound with hip hop, with the Jamaican toasting and hip hop music. Um, and he carries on that heritage of freedom music. I think Bob in the 70s brought this sound where it was not about commerce, it wasn't about who would get the most likes on Instagram, it really was about music to make people proud of who they are. And I think nowadays a lot of the music is to make us feel FOMO or feel like we don't have enough, when at that time that music was to teach you that you do have enough and it's from within. So I think it's a very important message to bring to the people and yeah, definitely Damien Marley, check it out. It's a sign right here, Studio One Records. This tree is the boss right here, you hear me? All right, or Celine Dion, cause Celine Dion. Every female rapper wants to be the bad bitch, but Celine Dion is the original bad bitch. See me? <laughs> all, right, all right, calm down. We have a few easy questions for now. Pick two celebrities you want, you would choose to be your parents. Who? I would say Bruce Lee can be my daddy, and Shaka Khan can be my mom's, <laughs> because. That would be like Bruce Lee would be the discipline and Shaka Khan would be the soul. And if you raise it with discipline and soul, then you a special child. Next. Rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. 10. I'm Singaporean. Have to be the best. Eh? With Yasu, number one. We must be 10 out of 10. What's your, what's your go to emoji? Purple yin yang emoji. All day. All day. You mess with people. You know when you're happy? purple yin yang emoji. When you're angry, purple yin yang emoji. It's all about the balance. Santai aja. How important is style to you? I think that creative expression is very important to me and style is a result of creative expression, creative expression, right? The willingness to show your individuality, the willingness to uh, create your own culture, your own ideas, and explore your imagination. I think style is a result of that, right? Whether it's your hair, your, your gear, the way you speak. So definitely style is important to me. Who is your style icon? One time when I was in Jamaica, there was a Rasta man that had a cooking pot on his head. You know, and one day I stopped him like, yo Rasta, why do you wear a cooking pot on your head? And he said to me, you know, differently still Chinese girl. You see this cooking pot? Maybe you make fun of me for wearing a cooking pot on my head, but this cooking pot, I my style this, you know? And I rock this with pride. So I think he is my style icon because he don't business if people make fun of him about a cooking pot on his head. He's just proud of who he is and he rocks his shit. So him, Rasta man with cooking pot on his head. And Rihanna, cause she bad. <laughs> All right, if Hollywood made a movie about your life, who would you like to see play the lead role as you? <laughs> Grace Jones. <laughs> Any gigs, events play, planned for this year or next year? I'm releasing my new album called Far East Empress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy, boy, boy. And we're doing a party right here in Singapore to release the album. And after we do that, I hope to 
tour all of Southeast Asia and Asian region. So from Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia. And so it's a, yeah, Southeast Asia represented. It's a proper release for an album called Far East Empress. And then for next year, I really, really hope that I get back to the UK. I want to play London. I want to play Europe. I see the amazing, huge reggae festivals they have out in Europe. And I would really love to bring my flavor and my Southeast Asian raga style to that scene. So I really, really want to look into doing that for next year. Hi. All right, where can you find me? My name is Maisha One, M-A-S-I-A. O N E, that's Asia with an M in front, M A S I A O N E. The propaganda is deep. You can find me SoundCloud, Instagram, Facebook. The website is Maisha1.com. Hashtag Far East Empress, Chinese money, M A S 1 A. Don't worry, y'all. We Chinese. We all over the internet. All right? Maisha1, love you guys. The Far East Empress. Thank you, Distract TV. Keep it real. Far East Empress and Nusantara for life.